At the age of eight, Park Joo Hyung, Song Jung Ki, is adopted by an Italian family, but the family later dies tragically in an accident. Joo Hyung joins the mafia and is adopted by Don Fabio, head of the Cassano family who treats him like a son. Renamed Vincenzo Cassano he becomes a lawyer, a consigliere for the mafia, and Don Fabio's right-hand man. After Fabio dies, Paolo, Fabio's biological son and the new leader of the Cassano family attempts to kill his adoptive brother out of jealousy because Fabio favored him over his own biological son. Vincenzo flees to Seoul and sets out to recover 1.5 tons of gold in the form of Buddha statutes that he helped his business partner, a recently dead Chinese tycoon, secretly stash within the basement of Jiyunga Plaza. During an inspection of the building, he discovers that he needs to demolish the place to retrieve the buried gold. However, a subsidiary of a large pharmaceutical corporation Babel Group has illegally taken ownership of the building with the intention of demolishing it to build a business building. Unwilling to let the gold to fall into the hands of Babel Group, Vincenzo must use his skills to reclaim the building and recover his fortune. Among the quirky tenants at Jiyunga Plaza is the Hipiragi law firm run by Hong Yu Chan, Yu J. Myung, in which Vincenzo finds he has aligned interests. At first he comes into conflict with Hong Yu Chan's daughter, Hong Cha Young, Jian Yeo Bin, an attorney for a rival firm that defends Babel Group. Under the order of the top legal advisor of Babel, Hong Yu Chan is murdered in the middle of the street. Enraged, Cha Young angrily resigns from her firm and takes over Hipiragi and teams up with Vincenzo to take down Babel. It is revealed that Hong Yu Chan is killed because he managed to discover that Babel Group is a shell company for a drug cartel and left some clues for his daughter and Vincenzo to find. Realizing that conventional legal method cannot do anything against a powerful corporation like Babel, Vincenzo uses his mafia methods to fight the corporation violently, including kidnapping and torturing Babel employees for intel as well as setting their drug manufacturing facility on fire. He also starts persuading mistreated employees of Babel to be their allies to destroy the corporation from within. Eventually, Vincenzo manages to find a way into the gold vault underneath the building without having to demolish it. Aside from the gold, he stumbles upon a USB left behind by his deceased business partner called the guillotine file containing incriminating pieces of evidence against Korean politicians as well as Babel Group which his partner uses as leverage against both Babel and the politicians under this payroll. Babel Group learns about the guillotine file and seeks to obtain it so they can blackmail tons of politicians for their advantage. <laughs>